Hello everybody, welcome back. It is Monday, the 23rd of September. I'm on Bond Street looking at the old Hearts building site. I last filmed Friday afternoon and I didn't get down over the weekend, but I mean that's okay. There wasn't really any work you know, over the weekend anyway, so we haven't missed a lot. Still mainly clear up today, so we're just going to have a full walk around. A little update as we can see from that property there on Bond Street. All the scaffolding is gone. There's still some scaffolding there at the back street end. I well, was just going around the corner from the back street end. So now the big scooting machine is just going to scoop everything into that massive skip there. We're going to walk past that skip quickly because you don't want to spend time just looking at a giant blue skip. But look, all the loads of bricks and rubble and hardcore now is pretty much at the front. That's just swinging round, it's going to dump that in there with a nice big old noise. That tells us that that is an empty skip. It's not going to be empty for long. A few big more scoopfuls like that and it's going to be full to the brim. So we have all the brick tile there. It's all been moved to this side. It's the bricks and stones and rubble few little bits of tangled rebar support in there but for the most part it's all just rubble and stuff let's peek through the fence bit here got another giant scoop full there that's going to go into the skip You can see, maybe we can see, I can see, maybe I can zoom in for you guys. You can see still the bits of basement along the end. Just go beyond that, can you see there? That's part of the basement. And then coming down this way. Because we, we know from other videos are made before the building got knocked down when we were peeping through that hole in the wall that the entire building did have a full big basement. I'm going to go around and I'm going to give you guys a better view of that on this side. You can see on here, obviously it's all filled in because it's piled very high. This kind of bricks here, this is all the special bricks that had the bits of feature on. You see, there's all kind of little bits of... So these aren't just any old bricks, these are the special bricks. So... There we go. And look again, once again, we can just see all the sand. Soil, but it's not really soil or clay. Literally all sand. Most of this part of town is built on sand. The town was one giant beach, or it would be if we hadn't built on it. All the sand there, just like Bonnie Street development, and that went way deeper. Some of those earlier videos, what I did on the central car park, were really good. I mean, not in the wow, they were amazingly made videos and the really exciting sense, but they're good in the sense that you can see how deep they dug and just how much sand there was. That pile's getting shorter and shorter. That's not going to be long, is it? 
think it's going to make quite short work of that, do you? Now look, we can see that's a bit of a basement wall there. But there was like multiple parts of the basement, so that's the wall. But here, especially at this side, it is all sand. I wonder if there's anything interesting under there, like you know, any old pieces of other know, pottery or just anything interesting. I don't know, probably not. I mean, that pile's disappearing as we watch. Of course, I can't really stay down here for long because I am on my way to work, so I've got maybe just like five minutes less than that, and I've got to go. Look on the wall there, if I can zoom in on it. There's an old fire alarm on the wall. Can I, can I zoom in on it? Yeah, there we go, look at that. It's blurry as anything, but you can see it. It's an old basement. I think it's a fire alarm. It looks like a fire alarm. So just so we can see on this side, you can see all that sand now. Just like a giant beach. So that, guys, is the old park building site. Apart from that tiny bit left in the corner where they just the bottom entry to the bottom lift shaft was, it's all gone. A bit of scaffolding at the back up there, a bit of tidying up to be done on the back walls. But for the most part, but we are done so with this. I am going to come back tomorrow. I'm not going to stay here a long time. It's my day off, so I'll probably just pop down sometime in the morning or early afternoon. Just so I've got like a complete log of the whole thing being done. Because we did that for St Chad's. Even then, it, when it was practically done, I wanted to finish, you know, when everything was finished. So I'm going to keep doing just at least one video a day just watching the site and watching them just wrap this job up and finish it off so we do have the whole thing on site and it will be finished when all the machines are gone everything's gone the site's completely flattened and it's either fenced off like the old St Jod site or it's a temporary car park or it's just left empty like the old ambassador site and the old new packet site. So we saw those demonstrations through to the end, didn't we? So yeah, short and sweet, not overly interesting, but it's still an update nonetheless. And I am into completion as far as these demonstrations are concerned. So I'm going to finish this one now because I've got to rush to work. So thank you for watching, thank you for keeping up with the series, and yeah, I shall be back tomorrow with the next update, so I shall see you guys then. Goodbye.